Hi, welcome back to Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dr. Inky Perrick from Sarasota Vascular Specialists. So the topic of today's discussion is plaque disease or atherosclerotic disease. Why do I have atherosclerotic disease or why did I develop plaque? What is going on? The first portion to think about is um, kind of equating it to a nice clean pipe. So when we're all born, we're born with these nice, beautiful pipes where the blood is flowing through, there's no issues there. But as we get older and we start to abuse our bodies, which we all do, there's a little bit of crack or a little bit of damage that happens to the inside. So let me give you an example. So if you were a smoker, even if socially when you were young, because it was the cool thing to do, there's going to be a little bit of oxidative damage and the blood vessels you get a little bit of damage that occurs in the inside. And if you have some high blood pressure, such as a, a hypertension, imagine if you have this rubber tube and now instead of the blood flow going like this, you take the rubber tube and you yank it with hard pressure because there's hypertension, then you're gonna get crack in the middle of those tubes and it's gonna have unsmooth surface and it's gonna have vascular or endothelial damage. So that's what it translates to. The process of fixing this damage is not that easy for our body. So the things that it has that is floating around sometimes is fat cells and sometimes it's cholesterol and sometimes it's hard things like calcium plaque. So it gets whatever it can gather and it's going to gather these different products and it's going to try to patch up that hole. Then our body then has another mechanism of trying to fix something that has crumbled. It puts in a huge hunk of clot. So now you've taken from just the endothelial damage upon the walls that we all go through to now building some cholesterol and plaque and putting many different inflammatory cells around it. And then if that process then crumbles, then you go on to now a thrombotic issue. So that's why when you come see us, one of the things that I always talk about is that there has to be multimodality approach to fixing these things. We have to make sure we fix your health in terms of preventing the damage from happening further than what has already been done. We have to prevent your body from then acting on these damage in an unhealthy manner, meaning we should have some blood thinners like antiplatelet therapy to make sure if some of these plaque crumbles, it does not go everywhere and cause a huge thrombotic episode. And then we have to make sure that the process of remodeling gets done smoothly, whether it be medications such as different statins or repatha, some of these medications help smooth out that process. Again, this is Knowledge is Powerful, Whiteboard Wednesdays. Thank you.